Thank you for seeing us on Citizen Weekend. And we're joined live now by Mike Okini, who is in Paris, France. Mike, what was the opening ceremony like for somebody who was actually there? I saw that it was wet, it was a wet night. Um, how much of an impact did that have? Thank you so much, Olive. I can hear you loud and clear in Nairobi. That rain is still on. Imagine we're at the study front and it's still raining. It's been on for the last two days and it's something that nobody expected. So the opening ceremony was marred by the rains. On, on the river, everything they wanted to achieve was there. The teams came in with the boats and they got to the final venue just outside the Eiffel Tower. But the whole ceremony out there was not possible because there was a lot of rain and they had to cut the program. So that is what happened on the opening ceremony. But in in terms of the production and all the elements that they wanted, it was achieved perfectly, Oliver. And uh, tell me, what, uh, before we get into what uh, Kenya is looking forward to uh, tomorrow and Monday, you, I can see you're at, at the Stade de France. I'm sorry if I butchered that. Uh, I read that uh, you, France has won you, you, the gold for rugby. You've said it. You've said You've said it correctly. Stade France, that is where we are because the rugby competition was ending today, men's rugby. France have just won. The hosts have won the seventh competition by beating the defending champions Fiji. Fiji won silver. Um, uh, South Africa won bronze. So host France have gone with the gold. It's something that they had planned for the, for the last six years ever since they were told that they'll be, they'll be hosting the Olympic Games. So that is what they've done. But our own Shuja, Kenya Sevens team have done as uh, proud. At least they've won another game. They have finished ninth. Ninth out of 12 teams that qualified for the Olympics. This is quite an achievement. So the details of that story will give it to you during the sports news. Olive. All right. So what should we be looking forward to for where Kenya is concerned? Tomorrow is a free day for Team Kenya. There is no um, athletes who will be in action. But Monday is when we have the big one. Brazil will be hosting us in women volleyball. We are playing Brazil on Monday. Remember, Brazil are ranked among the top teams in the world. So we'll have that and then it will be followed by swimming women. And also we'll have um, uh, judo coming in after that. So those are the next um, uh, events. But uh, what of more importance to Kenyans is that on the first, we start off with the athletics program. This is where Team Kenya is expected to win medals. Actually, everybody else who meets you here and they say they now know um, the character of Kenyans, because of the wristbands, when they see the wristbands, they know this is a Kenyan. So they ask you, what should we expect in terms of athletics? So the pressure will be on on Team Kenya, especially even on journalists, because at the media center, everybody's asking you who's in the team, how do we expect them to perform? But these are the Olympics and uh, anything can happen. Remember today, Alexandra Ndolo was in action in fencing and she was among the favorites to win the EP competition. But it it never happened because um, she got nerves in the first game. It went into extra time and she lost by one single point. So a lot of things happen. That story is also coming up in sports. But that is what is happening. And for those who are asking, those live links. I'm actually using a Samsung phone. Uh, very good sponsors that uh, we are having on, uh, on our sports news with the Olympics partnership. So S24 is what we are using. So if we could joke Olive, we shall give you an S24 as well to use and you'll be able to this beautiful live links, Olive. See you in the and then I home. You have a conversation to know again, you may attend. A cote la. All right. For Faranza, I'm going to say a cote. A cote de la stad. All right. Thank you for that, Mike. And uh, try and keep it dry. Uh, that was the update as far as the Olympics are concerned.